so all moms are jealous of their daughters. I think all or most are like all are, it, this is a narcissistic trait, envy, jealousy. And I feel like especially with mothers and daughters, it's one of the most prominent ones. It is an F show because it is so hard to really, because it's hard for people to fathom society cultures that a mother would be jealous of her own daughter. But we're not talking about rational mothers here. We're talking about mothers who have their own stuff that they haven't dealt with, that have been stuck in this very young age, that haven't grown up, that defend against their shame any which way. So anything that uh, threatens their fragile sense of self, their fragile ego, they're just going to automatically like do what they need to do to alleviate that. And that includes being envious and jealous of their daughters. And, you know, obviously they'll deny that. And obviously like society cultures, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? There is no way that a mother could be jealous of her own daughter. It, I mean, if you, if you just remove the label of mother, she's a human being. So jealousy is part of the human experience. Envy is part of the human experience. And the reality is like, there's people who will take this envy and jealousy and mistreat people, narcissistic mothers and their daughters. And there's people who will feel jealous and will feel envious. And, you know, I felt this way. Maybe you have felt this way in the past, but it's like, what do we what do we do with this envy and this jealousy? Do we mistreat others because we're feeling that way? Or do we look within ourselves and ask ourselves, why is this something that I'm feeling? If you have an narcissistic mother, she doesn't do that. So she defends against feeling unworthy, defends against that shame that she feels, and she mistreats her daughter. And it's all very like, it's just automatic for the most part. They ha they've been this way for a very long time. So this is what it could look like because you might have this belief of how like a mother being jealous could look like, but all of these are ways that your mother could show her jealousy towards you, could show her envy towards you. So she might compete with you. One of the most obvious ones is just competition, but actually it may not be um, because like many daughters cannot fathom that like their mother is actually competing with them because that's like, that's mom. Like, what are you talking about? And then it doesn't help that society or the family of origin will be like, what are you talking about? There's no way your mom is competing with you. Like, she's your mom. Like, she, she, she won't do that. Like, she's your mom. That is one of the biggest ways that your mother really devalues you and shows you that you're not good enough, that she is better, that she is the winner and that you're the loser. She will compete with anything and everything that messes with her fragile sense of self. So from your achievements to your looks, to your partner, to your mothering, to your kids, to your water bottle, to a book, to how many books you read, to your car, to your job, <laughs> to your, I don't know, I'm trying to look at, to the coffee that you like, to your headphones, to your laptop, whatever it may be, she will compete with you. And another layer to this is she will use or say any of your accomplishments or anything good that comes from you is because of her. Once again, not because of you, but because of her basically popping herself up so that she's the one that looks good. So that she's the one that's admired. So competing you is one of them. Um, being highly critical of you, like your looks, how you live. She, it may be because she's envious of you. Maybe because she wants to put you down. She wants you not to get a big head. I know I've seen this before. Like, they're like, oh, I just don't want you to get a big head or don't get a big head. It's like, you can't feel joy. You can't feel happiness. You can't feel excited because it's a problem because she doesn't feel this way. So you can't feel that way. So as a daughter too, you may carry a lot of shame when it comes to joy, when it comes to being present, when it comes to feeling safe, because whenever you express these or whenever you try to feel this way, your mother humiliated you, belittled you, criticized you, etc. So she may actually never give you credit for your accomplishments, but then you hear her telling your aunties like, oh yeah, you know, my daughter, this, this, and this, like she does this, this was her accomplishment. So she would get admiration. Ever heard your mom like tell you some stuff about your accomplishment, but then you hear her like talking about how she's so proud of you and blah, 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 and this and that you're like, that makes no sense. Like she was literally just telling me this and that. It's not because of you. It's because she's trying to get that admiration because it's about her. Highly critical. And then number three is attacking your self-worth. This is really 
tied together because it's like, how can your mother like devalue you? How can she make you feel like you're not good enough? She's going to attack yourself for it. So she may blame you. She may shame you. She may humiliate you. All these things to just prop yourself up, to prop yourself up so that you feel like you're never good enough or you're not like bigger or have a bigger head. Like, you know, like calm down. You're not, you're not that good. It's always that with the relationship with your mother. It's like, calm down. You're not, you're not that good. I'm better. It's like that feeling comparison is another big one your mother compares you to everybody and anything and herself too you may compare your looks you may compare your accomplishments it's just to make you feel like she may compare you to her, your siblings to your uncles to your cousins to other family members she may compare you to herself and say things like well when i was your age i already had this and that or when i was your age i was like 90 pounds or when i was your age i already had all these things like once again it's like you're not good enough you ain't shit Possessive is another one. You know, you hear about jealous, possessive, like girlfriends and boyfriends. Your mother could be possessive towards you. And this this shows up a little bit more like not giving you access to other people because she wants you to herself so that she could get admiration and supply from you. She may go as far as isolating you so that she has you to herself or instilling fear in you, almost infantilizing you about the world so that you don't go too far. Like a lot of these daughters who um, end up in this type of dynamic, like they end up being their mother's caretakers and they may end up not being in a relationship. They might be so isolated that it's just her and her mom and she just becomes their caretaker. And even from a, like much older age, they will still make them feel like, well, why would you put yourself out there? Like it's not, you're old now, you have nothing to give. Sabotage, oh, inappropriateness. So if you've ever seen your mom become buddy buddies with your friends or with your partner or she flirts with your partners, shoot, there's, a, there's narcissistic mothers who have slept with like daughter's partners. So there's that too. There is that. And then that's one aspect, inappropriate things like that. The second aspect is sabotaging. So if your mom sees that you're happily in a relationship or if you are happily with a friend or have a good coworker, she will try to sabotage it. If she is jealous of that relationship, she may try to sabotage it. She might instill doubt within you and tell you things about that person. Or she might say like, oh, like, why would they want to be friends with you? Or like, are you sure you want to be friends with her? Because blah, blah, blah. Or like, I don't know about your partner because like, blah, blah, blah. Or like your partner is taking advantage of you and all this stuff. The reality is she's trying to instill doubt within you to sabotage. So that you sabotage the relationship and she has you back to herself. She feels better about herself and then she continues to get that supply from you. If a mother is actively instilling self-doubt in her daughter, like that is a telltale sign. Like trying to instill doubt about your likes, dislikes, self-worth, relationships. That's a telltale sign that your mother is envious about what's going on in your life. Wants you maybe isolated, wants to control you so that you don't put yourself out there so that you sabotage your relationships, etc. So these are some ways that your mother's envy and jealousy could show up. And she may have all these, she may have a couple, but once again, depending on how narcissistic she is, and it's to a certain degree, I want you to think about things in degrees, behaviors in degrees, depending on how toxic narcissistic they are, the degree of the behavior may be more than if they only have some traits. So really look at that. And mothers who have less narcissistic traits sometimes you can set boundaries with them sometimes you can't so it really depends but the important thing is that you focus on yourself and healing first so that you are psychologically strong eating and gaslighting the same thing 